Now in this video we will see about control break statement in SAP BAP. Control break statements are used in internal table between loop and end loop. In case of control break statement, a piece of code is executed when a specific condition is identified by the system. The control break statements are first one we'll see at first. So every at must end with a end at statement and we have to write our piece of code in between the at and end at. So what is at first? This block is executed at the first iteration of the loop. Means at the first time loop is executing the first record when the side index is equal to 1, the at first is executed. And at last, it is opposite of at first. This block is executed when the last record of loop is getting processed. At new and after a space, we have to give field name. This means that we want system to identify a new value for the given field. And when system identify the new value for the field mentioned here, this block of code is executed. And similarly, at end of the field, that is, this block will be executed at the end of this field. So take example here. Let's say I have multiple purchase order number here. For all, I have four line items. This is ending with one. Line item 10, 20, 30, and 40. These are the line of PO. For the PO number 9, again 10, 20, 30, 40. And same for 11. Now, if I mention as at new EBALN, so this piece of code will get executed for every PO number when the line item is 10. And at end of EBALN, this block will execute it when system will reach the last line item. So in this scenario, for all my last line item is 40. So in this case, uh, in this way, the control break statement works. Now we'll see by creating a program in SC38. So go to SC38, get the program name as ZUD underscore control break syntax. Click on create. Put the value as control break syntax execute program save local object so and in a demo of same concept that is a purchase order line items so here I want a selection parameter with select options so for select options first we have to declare a table let's say ekpo and here I am mentioning my select options as s underscore ebln this will be the variable for ekpo ebln we'll say start of selection and end of selection in between this I will write my code activate in real time generally we don't write directly like this but as my focus is only to show this part that is control break so I'm writing the code like this go to text element selection text here select additional text that is the purchasing document activate go back so let me declare one internal table here data gt underscore gt underscore ebeln type e standard table of ebeln let's say gs underscore ebeln this is the work area type ebeln we can also make use of new web syntax but this time i'm showing the purely old concepts now select some record from the database select all from ekpo into corresponding fields of table gt underscore ekpo where ebeln that is a purchase order number in s underscore eb 
ELN. In the previous section for arithmetic operation, I use the parameter. So if you have uh, if you have parameter here, then we have to use the equal to sign here because it is single value. When we have select option, means multiple value, then we have to use in operator. Activate. Okay, let me check. Select all from EKPO into corresponding fields of table. Git underscore EKPO where EBLN in. Let me check the error. The field GT EKPO is unknown. Oh, I mentioned EBLN, sorry. It is uh, GT underscore EKPO type the standard table of EKPO. I wrongly type the table name. This is the EKPO. Now there should not be any syntax error. No, okay. So now first, as my requirement is, I want to short on the basis of purchase order number at new. So first sort the table by EBEL and EBELP in the ascending order. So sort the GT underscore EKPO by EB. ELN and EBELP. So the two field key field inside the EKPO table. If you want to see the key field, just double click on EKPO. So you can see the first two fields are primary key EBLN and EBLP. Here is a key indicator. Now we'll make the loop. Loop at GT underscore EKPO into GS underscore EKPO and loop. So what I want to do, when are the first uh, new at the first record, that is the at first, I will write the heading as PO number, line item number, matna description and quantity, and at new EBLN, I will just write a new PO. Then in middle, we'll type all the values, and at the end of the EBLN, we have to print some of that purchase order number, purchase order value. Okay, this is the requirement. So very first line is at first and simply write our write this statement. Here we have to write at end at. Okay, every at statement should end with at end. Here I will write as write. First is, let's say the PO number. PO number. Second, at the line number 15, I would type as, let's say, item number. And then at 30, I have to type material code. And then after 20 from this, that is line number 50, I want to type description and let's say after that i want to print the net wr that is the net purchase order number value so let's print that at line number at uh, 90 i want to print as net value okay so when the loop will get executed at the very first record this will get executed now my second requirement is at new EBELN I simply want to write just a new PO and that I don't want to do anything here and I'll just write as let's say new PO and let's give some color here that is the color as is a 5 and now here I will write my values. We'll copy this as it is. So I want to print value from my purchase order table. This is EKPO table. So here I want to print at line number two. That is a PO number. So my record will be in this work area. So I will print here as GS underscore EKPO EBELN. And in second. I have GS underscore EKPO 
EBELP is the second record for my table and I want to print material code description and net value so let's have a look again at table double click EKPO so here this is the purchase order number this is the line term here we have matnar that is a material number then we have txz01 that is a material description and I want to print the net WR I am printing directly net WR here we have net WR that is the order net value so those fill from this table I want to print so let's have a look at here how that looks the PO number ABLP metal code ok let me take some metal ID so ok I have to select some other PO let's say equal to 40 oh ok in run time I will give some PO, PO number where the metal will be there and this is a description and along with that I will print here the net WR this value I will print ok let's go back here the next I want to print as the metal code that is matnar to gs underscore ekpo that is matnar and my description is gs underscore ekpo tx set control plus space if you don't know the complete field name do click here and the last value I want to print as a net WR that is gs underscore ekpo net WR check the syntax no error ok so at new EBLN system will just print the new PO and what I want at the end of the purchase order number means uh, means at this record when the, this purchase order number is going to end at line of 40 I want to print the sum of all those values for every PO so for that here I will write as at end of that is EBLN first write end at now to add the values of this particular field particular fields there is a syntax of arithmetic operation that is called as sum just write sum so when we write sum what system will do system will do sum of all the numeric values like here if you have the net wr it will sum all the value of net wr and any other field like mange quantity etc so we just have to use sum then sum of all the value of this numeric field will come inside the field of this work area ok so now I want to print let's say write total value of PO color as 3 and this I want to print at line number 50 at line number 50 I will print this total PA value and I want to print the net WR that is GS underscore EKPO net WR ok so this will be my end of the code so okay so like this we will print the particular number line by line at the end we will sum the values of that particular number now this end of EBLN system will print this will execute it whenever the first PO will end the second PO will end third PO will end like this for all the PO this piece of code is executed and it will print the value of purchase order number now at the last record I want to print the sum of total value of all the purchase order number with items inside this table so here as we use at first similarly here we have to use at last at last here write end at use the same concept that is sum total value of all PO 
let's say color 7 and the same field and add some blank line here at last let's say skip to and give a u line here that is vertical line also after every new PO give a vertical line and before writing the sum also here give a vertical line horizontal line sorry at all place give the horizontal line okay so now I will select some purchase order number from my table so I already have some variant I will copy from that only I have some variant here let me copy those few numbers so it will be easy to demonstrate execute paste the value here execute so now you can see this is the first at first this is printed only one time and whenever there is a new PO we can see your new PO is printed in the green color and all the particular number here for this material I have the same description just uh, same material code and different description and at the end of this particular number system printing total sum of the particular numbers this is the first one this is for the second one you can see the different material code here a total value that is sum of all this material this is the third PO and at the end of third period, you can say 27,300, which is sum of 1, 2, 3, and 4. And at the final, at the last, we can see total value of all PO is 3,34,951.41. So like this, by using a simple concept of control statement, we can, in a short time, we can make a beautiful report of printing the purchase order sum at the PO level and as well as at the oral level. So in this way, we can use the control break statement. There is one more statement that is called as the on change off, but that is that we cannot. Uh, the advantage of on change off is like this can that can be used in any kind of loop, like all those at first, at last, at new, and at end of. We can use only loop and end loop. But on change of we can even use in other loop like do and do and while and while. Okay. So this is absolute nowadays. So we work only those control plus statements. So in this way, we're done with the session on control break statement. Thank you.